Hey guys, and welcome back to Black Mountain Stables. Here we got our soybean field harvested, and uh, we're just putting the final touches on our manure spreading. It's getting toward evening, and I went ahead and called up the vehicle shop because uh, last time we talked together, uh, we talked about possibly picking up, um, having them order us one of those Anderson. Um, mixers, uh, since they are now going to be able to deal in Anderson equipment. And I uh, talked to him a little bit, and I think we struck up a uh, pretty good deal. So I went ahead and committed to buying uh, one of the mixers. So we should see that, they said, in about a week to a week and a half. So that's really exciting that they're going to be able to get that down from Canada so quick. I didn't think they were that close to uh, the signing the deal, but they told me that uh, basically our our demonstration of eagerness in getting that mixer really demonstrated to the Anderson Company that there really was a, a very viable market uh, down here in, uh, in the Black Mountains region. So they went ahead and uh, put a rush on everything, which is really, really good news for us. So that should make feeding our cow herd a whole lot easier. It shouldn't take nearly as long to, uh, to keep them up to date. And I'm really eager to uh, to take a look at this new uh, new mixer they they've got. So it's coming on. It's coming on 7.30 in the evening. I'm going to go ahead and run this back to the farm. Then I think we're going to uh, drive on home for the night. Get some dinner in us. And talk to Patrick about uh, him coming out here first thing, first light. And starting to disc up this field. So that we can uh, see about maybe getting some corn in it tomorrow ahead and took delivery of a corn planter a little bit ago so we're gonna have to check that out make sure we know how all that operates and everything but uh, yeah first things first we need to get over here and disc that manure in get it nice and worked up and get it ready for uh, get it ready for planting I think we're gonna need to move our telehandler here and uh, we had kind of parked it here because I thought maybe we would need another load. But uh, looking at how well we did on that field, it doesn't look like we're going to need that. Just go ahead and put that back on in here. Put this away. Park this over here by the power washer so that we can clean it up real good. Like I said, we don't need uh, <clears throat> we don't need to get manure in our feed mix. Uh, when we do finally get around to. Uh, to getting some more more silage. Just leave that there. Oh, what the, let's go ahead and clean her off real good. That's good. Let's get the bucket. Clean the bucket off. The lip here. All right. Let's, let's not hop the barbed wire fence. We're not uh, we're not as young as we used to be. I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, to clear the fence without uh, I don't know tearing a hole in our britches. So let's 
Go ahead and put this away. Then, like I said, I think we're going to head on back to the house, get ourselves some dinner, turn in for an early evening. So we got a busy day tomorrow. Hopefully, Patrick will be able to get most of the field dis disted up, disked. <laughs> field worked before before we get over here and get the uh, the planter all ready. Leave that there. Go go ahead and run on over here, and I'll show you guys the planter we got. Got an interesting coon coon planter. Got it already hooked up here to our T6. Ready to rock and roll. Got the planter three model. This all folds out and everything. It's uh, about five and a half meter working width. Not too terrible bad. Won't be super quick on that field, but it won't take won't take over a long time either. Got to check the disc out, make sure that it looks real good. Looks like we're gonna lower out of the way before we can get over here to the disc again. All right, well, with that, guys, let's turn on our headlights. I think I'll leave you guys for the evening. And uh, I'll ring you back up sometime in the morning. Well, good morning. We are back at it nice and early, about 20 to 7. And uh, Patrick tells me he uh, is already out here. Disking up the field, which is a good thing. Just want to swing by and uh, check things out before we head on over to the farm. Let's see here. Looks like over there on the far side. Let's go ahead and just make a little drive by. Just check out, see how things are doing. Looks like things are going pretty well. Looks like he's just got started making his ups and downs before he does his arounds. Alright, well that looks great. Then hop on out and just see here. Oh yeah, that looks that looks Really, really good. Nice, rich, dark colored dirt. That should be right and ready for a uh, some corn here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and head on over the farm. Give the uh, planter a little once over. And I think while we're waiting on uh, Patrick to get a bit more of the field done, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, See if maybe we can't get some wheat in the ground. We still have our two wheat fields that we need to do. Actually, I think we're gonna put barley in. You know, I was talking with uh, I was talking with Patrick the other day, and you know we've got a new uh, a new barley seed that is supposed to have a greater yield than wheat. And, and everything. And since our chickens really aren't going through the uh, aren't going through the grain that much, then the greater yielding wheat or greater yielding barley should end up uh, being a little bit more profitable for us. So that's what we're going to look at doing. Let's 
Let's see here. Let's just check everything. Make sure everything's greased up. Ready to go. Some of these joints will get much better access once we uh, hook it up and flatten it down. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get this thing hooked up. And we'll go ahead and pull it out over here. Let's put it right here in front of the uh, right in front of this. And let's go ahead and unfold it. Put her down on the ground. Disconnected there. Now we can get a lot easier access to the planting discs. Make sure we've got the right size disc in there for the, uh, the density that we want to have the corn planted at and everything. But uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get hooked up to our cedar. Uh, I've never tried to uh, not tried to seed with this particular uh, this particular tractor. Thought we were hitting it. There we go. Not tried to seed with this particular tractor. Uh, so we're gonna, gonna have to give it a go, and uh, I don't know if she's got enough juice or not, but uh, we're about to find out. Typically, we do our planting with the T7, but uh, it's busy there with the disc. So we're going to have to try out our T5. And, uh, see if we can't get anything done with it. Already got this full of barley seed. It's a good thing. Alright, let's see. It's darn weeds. Seriously, these weeds are everywhere. Gotta figure out what we might be able to do to uh, to control these things. Let's get some light on the situation. It shouldn't take too long to get this uh, this barley planted. These fields are pretty small, and this is a very fairly nice sized uh, cedar. Nine miles an hour. That's not too bad. I think this is rated at uh, might be rated at ten or twelve. So it looks like the tractor is able to pull it for the most part. Go. Great. New Hollands, they have been big time workhorses for us. Big powerhouses. I do have a, a lead on a uh, an interesting tractor that I might uh, I might might have uh, brought in at a minimum just to uh, try it out. See if it might be something we'd be interested in adding to our uh, adding to our fleet, and it's an old cat. It's a tracked cat tractor. Be an interesting addition to the farm, in contrast to these new Hollands. That's for sure. It seems that there are a few times where we could have really benefited. From having uh, another tractor with a little, little higher horsepower than the T6 here, because uh, T7 has been really working on hard. In fact, we just uh, 
get a pretty significant overhaul maintenance on it. Uh, it costs us a couple thousand dollars to uh, to get that done, but it's definitely worth it because it has a whole lot of operating hours on it. It is arguably the most used tractor of the uh, of the three that we've got over here at the dairy farm. I don't remember what the uh, I don't remember what the horsepower rating is for that cat, but uh, it should be pretty good. It's an older model. It's it's tracked. I'm not I'm not a big fan of tracked tractors, but you know if the deal's right and the price is right, timing works out then I think we should probably bite on it because you never know when a deal like this might come back up. Don't want to be passing on, you know, such a really good opportunity. All right. Like I said, this won't take too much longer, so we're going to go ahead and finish her out. And then I'll be back with you once we get our, uh, once we do a little bit of work on the corn planter. Check you then. All right, well, we got our barley in the ground. Looked up to our new corn planter. Now uh, we're heading over here to field number three, I think. Oh gosh, whatever, whatever we're gonna call this field, the one that's across from the shop. Putting corn in. Let's see how much of the field Patrick's got this this. How much of it he has used the disc on <laughs> and uh, see if we can't maybe go ahead and get started planting and we want to make sure we leave plenty of room so he doesn't go and uh, damage our seed or corn Let's start. Let's start right about right about here. So let's drop her down. Let's turn her on. Now this particular tractor, we're not fortunate enough to have GPS. We're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. We're gonna have to earn it. Our now what's nice about this planter is we're putting down some fertilizer with the uh, with the seed. We went ahead and mixed it up together. The seed has already been fertilized. When it goes into the ground, we're not going to have to come back and we're not going to have to touch this uh, basically until till harvest. So next time we're going to come back here and probably, you know, mess with this particular field is when it's time for uh, time for us to chop got our big t7 over there and we got our medium t6 here on this side working away So now that we've got two runs done, let's go ahead and check this out. Make sure everything looks good. Yep. Yeah. Planting depth looks good. 
spacing on the seats looks good. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and get back in. Uh, well, we'll just see how much of this field we get done in the next uh, next little bit. Looks like we are catching up to him. He's taking a lot longer to make those turns. And uh, well, he's working a little bit slower than us, just turning up the ground. And uh, well, his implement is a little narrower than our cedar or planter is. So we are slowly catching up. I think what we'll do is we'll do one or two more passes. Then we'll head back to the farm real quick. Uh, see if maybe we can't uh, ring up, check the uh, check the current prices for our grains that we got in storage, and maybe see if we can't sell ourselves a load of grain or two. Our uh, we definitely have some milk to haul off. Get the milk hauled off. That will allow him to basically finish out the field. Go. And we're going to need to top off a seed anyway. This planter just does not have the uh, nearly the seed storage capacity of the uh, of the cedar. And the fact that the uh, the corn Corn's bigger, so you have a bigger kernel, and we've got less capacity. Just uh, well, ends up meaning that we're going to run out long before we uh, we finish this field. Let's go ahead and pack her up once we get to the end of this run. Come back maybe. Uh, Maybe early afternoon, get the field planted, finished up. But yeah, this uh, this tractor and this planter have been working really well together. Pretty impressed with the capabilities of this T6. Probably gonna be, he's probably going to wonder what on earth this is the old man doing. Probably doesn't realize that uh, 
This thing doesn't hold near the seat capacity of the other. The cedar, we could have easily done that whole field. Uh, we can do we can do our big oat field in one without having to fill up. But uh, not with the planer here. The planer just doesn't have that capacity. over here and just uh, park this thing over here by our seed silo and let's go ahead and just check see how our crop prices are doing wheat is depressed soybeans are depressed so there's no uh, no need to look any further than that we do have almost a whole load of milk. Let's go ahead and check. Let's see if we've got any uh, chicken boxes that we can put away. We'll just sneak a quick peek through the, uh, the wood. Let's see here. It looks like we got just one box in there left. We'll just leave that be. Come on over here. We'll get this uh, tractor trailer parked a little close to our Mahindra. Remember, did we stay hooked up to that? It looks like we're still hooked up to our to our tank. Yeah, we're still hooked up to our tanker. Whoa! Check out what gear we're in before we start to roll. Alright, let's just pull this on up. And we'll go ahead and fill on up with milk. Almost a full load, 80%. Our Alrighty. Now, I should have looked and see, looked to see who is, uh, who is, Paying us good for our milk. Uh, what do you know? It is the restaurante yet again. They go through an awful lot of product. Milk, eggs, grain, you name it. Those guys at the restaurant will buy it. Said, I think I said earlier. A couple weeks ago, maybe. Uh, they are big into this farm-to-table thing. So, hey, whatever they do with it, I don't know. But uh, it's money in my pocket, which is uh, fine by me. Give Patrick a good little blow of the air horn while we go by. Let's see if he can keep a straight line after that. <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right. Rolling in the dough.
Where are we at? $9,400. $9,500. For that partial load of milk. Not a bad price. Not a bad price at all. Alright guys, well I think that's where I'm going to leave it for the day. Uh, let me know in the comments. What did you think of the video? If you have any suggestions or ideas for future episodes, go ahead and drop those in the comments also. And until next time, happy farming.